But just so you're aware, it is not normal or natural for a girl to have a ton of guy friends. And if she does, this is a sign for you to run the hell away. But after she said they're just friends and they don't really, really, I know what she says, but I don't care. Don't believe the hype. Gentlemen, the truth is, why is she hanging out with all these dudes? Is it because she likes the attention? She needs the affirmation? She needs people to buy her things or do things? Either way, gentlemen, it's a losing proposition. And you are way too damn amazing to hang out with her low budget ass. What's up gentlemen? So today, this video is pretty simple. To help you identify women that you should never date. And if you're dating them, you need to honestly probably break up with them because some of these things are flags, some of them are signs, some of them are just types of girls that are not worth your time because you are too damn amazing. So number one, like I said, a girl that's got a ton of guy friends, definitely not somebody that you should mess around with. Number two is somebody who doesn't appreciate when you do something nice for them, right? Whether you buy them something, you help them, you open the damn car door. If they don't say thank you for going out of your way, it doesn't matter if you're just dating for a week, a month, one date, or you've been dating them for 10 years. If there's somebody that doesn't have the decency and the respect to have the common courtesy to say thank you when you go out of your way, gentlemen, this is a sign that you need to dump her ass because either A, she's a little spoiled bitch, or B, she's so used to everybody doing everything for her or buying her things or simping over her that she doesn't feel like she needs to. And if this is the case, once again, spoiled little. Number three is somebody who can't handle their alcohol or they have any type of substance abuse issue. All right, I'm just gonna throw this out there. If it's right now kind of cute, like, oh, she just kind of gets a little bit out of hand, a little bit drunk, showing her boobies, right? No, 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 no. That's gonna get real old. It's also gonna get worse. And what seems cute now because you're just dating or she's hot is gonna get tired, it's gonna get old, and she truly is not worth your time. Do not invest in people that aren't willing to invest in themselves. For four, somebody who's emotionally or physically abusive, right? Physical and emotional abuse, guys, they're things that are real, right? And if you're with somebody or woman that hits you, right, slaps you or punches you, this is a sign, this is a huge, flashing, waving, red sign, get away from me because I'm toxic and this is leading nowhere good. Or if somebody's emotionally abusive, right? They put you down, they blame you for things, or they basically try to manipulate you. And this is the next sign that somebody is not right for you and you shouldn't date them. If somebody is manipulative in terms of they try to make you do certain things or they basically will talk about their ex in a positive way to make you feel bad for not doing something or it makes you feel like less of a man, this is something that you need to understand is not normal. The next girl is somebody who's crazy, jealous, or rageful, right? Or gets super pissed off or crazy emotional. Now you're like, yo, Alpha, all women are crazy emotional. I get it, I get it, I get it. But I'm talking next level, extra, like extra emotional. She freaks out over no reason. She dirty fights, which is another huge red flag. If somebody's a dirty fighter, right? They basically aren't dealing with the issue now. They try to basically like punch it in the nuts theoretically and metaphorically speaking, by bringing up things from the past. Guys, you've gotta be with somebody that is healthy in terms of communication, not just when things are good, but when things are bad. That is when you're going to truly get to know somebody. When you guys have an argument, you have a fight, that's when you truly are gonna realize whether or not this person is somebody that you should invest your amazing, valuable time in. Speaking of investing, I wanna invest a little more in you by offering you something incredible. You see, I realize that after this video, it's gonna be a little bit tough for some of you to swallow, right? You're gonna realize it. You know what? Alp is right. I deserve better. I deserve to be with somebody that deserves me, right? And so you're probably going to be single. And so I want to make sure that you are ready for all the action you're about to get. So right now, gentlemen, I got something incredible for you. You don't want to pass up. Right now, for a limited time, you get to choose whichever P. and Pedro fragrance you want. We got five amazing fragrances. The one that I personally would recommend if you haven't tried any is Rebel because it's been heavily inspired by Creed Aventus. The number one fragrance for getting those spicy senoritas to be like, damn, you smell amazing. Let me give you a BJ. And then you're like, wait a second, I'm not powdered, but you got no excuse because I'm giving you for free the Pete and Pedro powder, the best powder in the universe. All right, it's gonna keep you dry. It's gonna keep you fresh. It's gonna make sure your balls don't stink so that when she goes down to visit Big Al, you're like, yo, go for it, mom. And she's gonna be like, oh my God, you smell better literally than any dude I've ever been with. But I've only been with one because I'm not a, you know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, you're also gonna get this for free. The Pete and Pedro Fresh Deodorant, guys, eucalyptus spearmint, 
it's a clear solid, it's gonna make you smell incredible. Spend $50, grab whichever fragrance you want, and you're gonna get these two products for free. It's literally a $38 free offer. Gentlemen, the deal is it's not gonna last long, so if you're interested in dazzling the senses of those spicy ass senoritas or dudes or whatever you're into, I want you to hit that link. You gotta hit the link, you gotta use the codes on the link in order to grab the deal. Gentlemen, now is the time to smell amazing. The next sign that she is definitely not worth your time because you're too damn amazing and you smell too fantastic. If I wasn't, you know, I'd make it. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm kidding. I wouldn't. That was weird. Here's the deal. If she doesn't respect you, your boundaries, what are you doing with her? If she's snooping through your phone, then you told her like, hey, I don't like it when you snoop through my phone, right? This is a problem. If she's looking through your Facebook, if she's doing things to you that makes you feel like she doesn't respect you, talking to guys behind your back, you might find out that she's doing things that she shouldn't be doing or going out and she's not behaving appropriately when she's around other dudes and you're not there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with setting boundaries for yourself and the way that you expect your partner to act and interact with other people. And if they don't agree with that or they don't do it, then that's a sign that they need to go and do that and you need to find somebody that's going to appreciate you for the amazing man that you are. The next sign that she isn't worth it, gentlemen, and she's not good enough for you is that she is materialistic, right? She puts too much value on stuff or the appearance of things, right? Whether or not it's the car that she drives, the clothes that she wears, or herself physically. If she's super in to plastic surgery, right? Getting all the injections in her face, right? Her lips always like puffed up, the extensions. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, this is not normal. It's also not a good thing to basically get involved with because it's a losing battle. It's never gonna be enough. She's going to keep having to do and try different things in order to try to make herself feel good when the truth is it's an internal thing. If she doesn't have high self-esteem, which is another sign that she is definitely not a good girl for you, self-esteem is one of those things that if you don't have it, it's going to manifest in a lot of unhealthy ways, whether or not it's attention from other people, whether or not it's shopping excessively, whether or not it's basically doing self-destructive things. Gentlemen, you got to understand, no amount of love, right, is going to be able to fix somebody that is deficient in terms of the way that they feel about themselves. The next type of woman that you need to avoid like a bad case of the clap is somebody who's dumb, right? Dumb girls aren't cute, they're not funny, right? If she doesn't have anything between the ears, gentlemen, you gotta understand that this is somebody that you are not gonna be able to kick it with long term. You gotta be with somebody that is intelligent, that actually thinks for themselves, that is not a sheep, that is not obsessed with stuff and TV and Instagram and always posting pictures of their booty, which is the next thing I gotta talk about. Somebody that uses their body as a commodity. The way that I think about like female Instagram models and stuff like that, it's kind of like the modern equivalent to strippers, right? In the old days, you used to tell all your boys, dude, don't date a stripper. And some of your boys that are stupid are like, dude, whatever. Dude, Diamond? No, <laughs> Diamond wouldn't do that to me. She told me, I'm special. I'm the only dude that she does that self with, right? And then two weeks later, she leaves you for somebody else who's got more money and all you're left with is a raging case of herpes. Gentlemen, Influencers, female influencers are kind of like the modern day equivalent to strippers in my opinion. You got to understand, if they are seeking validation or attention or money from showing their body, it's definitely not something that is sustainable. You might be good enough now, but you're not going to be, right? You need to understand that she is always going to be seeking this validation. All right, being an influencer, I can tell you because I am one, is really bad for your mental health. It's terrible because you're always chasing that high, you're chasing that like, you're chasing whatever, right? And the truth is that if you're willing to get into bed with somebody or date somebody that is doing that for a living, understand it comes with a downside and consequences. Yes, she might be hot. Yes, she might have a banging booty, but no, she is not right for you. And the last type of person that you shouldn't be with is somebody that doesn't support you or love you, all right? And what I mean by this is just that. If they don't support your dreams or you as a person and as a man, you gotta run away. If they don't love you truly, you gotta run away, right? You are incredible. You're an amazing man. It doesn't mean you don't have mistakes. It doesn't mean you're not gonna have issues or arguments, but you need to be with somebody that loves you, that uplifts you, that thinks you are as amazing as I think you are. Gentlemen, bottom line is this. If she don't love you as much as I do, run away.